throw us live and then I'll tell you how many suggestions we have. Okay. And then you just pick one. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go about like, I don't know, we'll go like 10 minutes ish. And then, um, and then, yeah, afterwards we're, um, we'll just sit and I don't know, just sometimes yeah, talk about what happened. Yeah. Talk like, about or things you were thinking about or whatever, but yeah. I'm excited. All do, you right. like, do you like to go in with like an intention? Nah. Or not. I mean, you can if you want. I know some people do. Yeah. I just kind of go in. Yeah. I'll just go in. You do you. How about that? You do you, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. We have. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My friend, we have 10 suggestions. So pick a number between one and 10. Okay, let's just go down in the middle. Five. Uh, great. Lauren Baumbauer gave us a suggestion of three uh, hearts and opal. 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 <laughs> Opal is the romance stone. <laughs> Opal means love. <laughs> I've got one. I've got one. <laughs> you got a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I knew it. You've got a girlfriend. <laughs> I've got one. I've got a girlfriend. You are so lucky. Oh, I love it. I love that you have love. You're so lucky. Girlfriend. It's my first one. <laughs> What's your name? <sighs> I want to tell you. You don't have to. But she also told me. It's a secret. <laughs> I'm not supposed to. She doesn't want me to n tell anybody that I'm dating her. It's just between her and me. You said she doesn't want you to know. Is yeah. Is that a mistake? Or... She doesn't want anyone to know. Oh, I got you. You, don't, you know what? Don't break that trust. Do not break that trust. It's okay. I'm just happy for you. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it. You walked in here and I was like, there's something going on with Stewie. I'm like, I could tell. And you couldn't stop smiling. So happy for you. And she yeah? did say that I can write her notes. <gasps> <laughs> no, you don't get to write notes. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. I thought maybe you, I thought maybe you could help me write one. I'll write a note. I'll write a note. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll write a note with you. Mm -hmm. um, dear, dearest, dearest, and then uh, don't tell me your name. I don't want to know. It's not my business. It's not my business. Dearest, and then put her name in. Jeff. Dearest. Jeff, you what? have written lots of notes to girls before <laughs> I've written a, I've written a ton <laughs> I can tell because you said dearest yeah 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 you've Dear, done it's like so it's like a form letter you don't want to write dear you want to write dearest because that's how you feel about her and here's something Stewie I don't ever want you to take her for granted don't ever take her for granted you have to appreciate her for every second you look really serious well, you, I mean, you got really serious. I know. I get really serious. 
talk about love. Love is very serious. It's a big deal. I'm so happy for you. It is such a big deal. Not many people find love, or if they do find love, they lose it. I've written tons of notes, yeah, but I've also lost a ton of girls. Hmm. So appreciate them. Like I'm Stewie. I'm serious. I'm serious. You have to appreciate her, okay? Okay. I think I'm gonna screw it up. What if you go into that with that attitude? You're gonna, I'm gonna screw, screw up. up the secret relationship. Well, I mean, if you have the attitude, you're gonna screw it up. Then it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Don't even worry about what's gonna happen. Just every moment you can, you know, have appreciation. That's the biggest thing. You have to appreciate them. That's all, and, and that's just anybody, but especially somebody who, man, Jeff. Who, I visited her at her work. Yeah? That she told me, not now. Not now. You got to get... <laughs> he said, not now, and told me to, to... She tried to hide me in the closet. Wait, did she say not now, like not don't come into work now? Or did she say not Not, now? not visit her at her work. She was <sighs> working her shift at Starbucks. <sighs> and I showed up. Gotcha. And she told me to go in the closet. Do you know why she's doing that? Mm -mm. I think because she wants the thrill of it being secret. Yes. There's a thrill of it, right? Yes. And look on the bright side, you get to see the inside of a Starbucks closet. Nobody can see the inside of a Starbucks closet unless you work there. That's pretty amazing, Stewie. Jeff. What? What? You've got to go with me. Okay. To, show you, to hand me that letter. Oh, do you want me to go with you to hand you the letter? <laughs> okay. I need you to see her. <gasps> oh. Like, we won't know. Like, okay. Like, we're going to show up at the shift. Yeah. At her shift. And you tell me what you think. Oh, I, I can tell you that. But I already know what I think. I think she's great if she makes you happy. And buying an opal ring, big deal, Stewie, big deal. This is the biggest deal of your life. You've never had a girlfriend. And the opal stone is the love yeah. stone. Yes, yeah, so I have an opal ring. Yeah. Give that my to mom gave me. Okay. I will give it to her with the letter. All right, you know what? you gotta do i got i got one piece of advice for that letter you want to know what it is mm -hmm. you just have to be honest and vulnerable and write down how you feel don't try to write down what you think somebody else should write down or try to write down what you think she wants to hear just write down what you feel speak from the heart you can never go wrong if you speak from the heart what do you love about her What's, what's the top three things you love about her? Don't tell me your name. Don't, I, and you know what? I don't even know if it's a girl. I, it's, that's very- it's a girl. Okay, okay. Her name, I almost said her name. Don't say it, don't say it. Don't say it, you can't break her promise. I like. What? I like that she's, she reads a lot. Oh, she's smart. She likes books like me. She's smart. That's the first thing. You've got to have a connection. You read all the time. And now you found somebody who reads as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a huge connection right there. You're on the same wavelength intellectually. Okay, that's good. What's the second one? She likes crystals. <gasps> ah, just like your mom. Yes, she's a lot like my mom. She looks like my mom. Makes sense. Yes. Makes sense. I think I think boys look for um, qualities of their mom and girls, and girls look for qualities of their moms or of their dads and boys, or or sometimes girls look for the quality of their their moms in in significant others or their dads. I mean, I think that's what we're familiar with. So, okay, she's into crystals. That's good. Your parents will accept her. That's good. A lot of a lot of people aren't into crystals, but she is. That's really good. Yeah. What's the third one? Crystals, books, and cooking. 
Oh, you know. She made me a sandwich. Oh my God. That means she loves you. <laughs> I went to her house yeah. and she said, are you hungry? <gasps> and I said, I could eat. And That's then. Because the <laughs> you're not committing. Because I got nothing, you're like, okay, cool, I could eat. I'm not hungry either. Great. So, oh, that's perfect. That's, Stewie, that's a perfect answer. Yeah, I know. It was so cool. And then she's like, turkey? Do you like a turkey sandwich? And I was like, yeah. And then she was like, do you want Swiss cheese? And I said, yeah. And then she was like, do you want mayonnaise? And I was like, yeah. She's like, all I have is Miracle Whip. I'm like, I'm fine with that. Close enough. Close enough. Wow. And then she put it, and then she was like, do you want it a bread or a bagel? And I said, bagel. Oh. <laughs> That's a I great a, choice. Yeah. And she made it for me. Well, and then she said, I'm going to give this to you, Stewie. Don't tell anybody. But I just told, I just told you. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. It. I'm not here. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't hear anything right now. We were, I, I, I zoned out for a second. I was, I was thinking about something else. I wasn't even thinking about you. I wasn't thinking about you or anything else. <laughs> Good. Good. Like, wow. That's the first time you've got a real connection with a girl. You can't let her go. I mean, you can't, you can't control her, but. You gotta appreciate her. Appreciate every second you can. That sandwich must have been the best sandwich you ever had in your life. The best I've ever had. I even have some of it. I didn't finish it. And I can't save it. The last bite. It's like a culinary <laughs> scrapbook. <laughs> yes, it's like you know how when someone gets kissed on the cheek and they said, I'll never wash this cheek. I never finished that last bite. I just kept it. Yeah. Dude, you can never, ever wash your stomach after this. You got to keep that sandwich forever. Those are the memories. You know what? Those are things that people write songs about. I wrote her a song. Sing it. Sing it. Take her name out, but sing it. I have to say her name. The sound. <laughs> Rhyme it. Rhyme the name, but don't. I won't guess. Just rhyme it. Put a different okay. word in. Okay. It even be a made-up word. I won't guess the name. Baby. Me. Baby. Me. Oh, baby. Me. Baby. Me. Baby. Me. I love your cooking. Baby. Me. I have so much love for you. I have everything inside of me for you baby oh, that's beautiful that's more beautiful than the ring could ever be because it came from you oh. cooking <sighs> she's so good at it you know what you're good at? Being Stewie. I'm a good Stewie, that's for sure. You're the best Stewie I know. Scene! <laughs> that was so fun, man. I love the energy at the top. <laughs> I love starting scenes in silence. Yeah. Oh, that was so cool. I, yeah, because it just, then I just created a physicality in that time and yeah. just went with it. And it's such a good, like, that in, that suggestion, Opal, I, I love it, that it was this ring. <laughs> and then these two guys who I picture, I was getting like a high school vibe. I was too, yeah. yeah. But we didn't say it, but. I mean, it was there. Yeah. If you can have your first girlfriend or your first, that's probably high school for a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people. Oh, that was really, that was so fun. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, what made you think of Opal Ring? Was it, did the hearts have any influence on it? Because the suggestion- Hearts had the, influ- the it had the romance part. Yeah. Um, that's, that's influenced me to make it a, there's some sort of love interest here. I mean, I think anytime yeah. you bring in some emotional part to it, yeah, it's huge. And I, and I know like, you know, sometimes people talk like, you know, careful referencing people that aren't in the scene, but I felt like this was about those two guys and that was just a, a character that was a part of it, but it wasn't what the scene was about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, are you teaching now? Are you doing any online teaching? Um, I haven't done any online teaching, but I'm thinking about it. You should. What's yeah. holding, what, what do you think is holding you back? Is it just like time and commitments? Um, no, I mean, I just, I guess I just wasn't sure about the online format for, for, uh, for teaching, but then I took, I just wanted to see somebody else do it. So I took some improv, uh, an improv class online and I was like, Oh, it worked pretty well. So no, I'm thinking about doing it. Yeah. I think it like, I mean, the first time I taught one online i did it a few years ago and at first it's just getting used to like the technology and like okay what view do i want to have people in what happens if there's a you know uh if if the technology is lagging or if somebody um uh, gets kicked out of the the room because of their internet or whatever like that but then once you get into it you're able to kind of master a big thing is looking in the camera not right like that was a big thing for me is like oh you got to keep looking in the camera and not the screen but i think you you start listening even more to how people are saying things and you can get a total sense of it yeah and you know my favorite thing about improv was always being able to move like move a lot yeah. like be real physical and you could run around and and so that that's missing, but it's still my experience so far with doing improv on Zoom is it's still just as fun. Yeah, and now we're and, starting to discover like you can move too. <laughs> right. Yeah, I've seen like, and I thought that was a like there was a lot of movement even though we were seated. I still felt like there was a lot of energy and movement that was happening. And I think you can do it by like adjusting your body, like move closer to the camera, move a little bit. Right. Away. It's, it's, it's um, pretty similar to like, if you've ever improvised on, on film or, or TV, it's kind of a similar thing. Like, and now we're just figuring out what the boundaries are and what we can do. And, and just, I think the more we mess with it, the better it's going to get, man. Yes. I like your enjoy the journey sign in the back. Yeah, that's my motto. It's so hard to it's all about. Even now, it's so hard to keep reminding ourselves, like, enjoy this. We're not going to go through this again, so enjoy it. It's not what we expected, but it's what is here. Yeah. Um, because you think of it, uh, I like to think of it as, like, it's a, a ride. Yeah. So, whitewater rafting ride and you don't put the you don't go on one of those rides and say hey can you put the raft at the very end <laughs> and we'll just do it for five seconds <laughs> Get off. that's pretty funny that's yeah funny. <laughs> you do the ride <laughs> like you do the ride because you want it to be long because you want to like the whole thing is fun and yeah. that's what i think life is it's like we want the whole thing so if you're just trying to get somewhere just trying to get to a destination mm. defeats the purpose yeah as soon as you're like all right i want to get to the end and then it's done as soon as you start approaching that end i think it's like wait wait slow down slow down slow down slow down wait, wait. i'm not trying to get to the end yeah <laughs> you gotta enjoy it it's like it's like a scene right you just mm-hmm. enjoy it even yeah in the improv scene we just did i'm not 
I wasn't not trying to get anywhere. I'm not trying to get to the t end of the 10 minutes. No. It's it, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to enjoy every single moment that presents itself. Yeah. I like to look at it like, I want to see what's going on with this person. Who's this, <laughs> who's this person I'm hanging out with? Like, I, I want to explore that as much as I can rather than like trying to move on from it. It's like, what's going yeah. on with that? And I love that line about like, she loves crystals. <laughs> <laughs> uh i know i wanted to like see the whole movie i like to think i love to, i want to see the whole two hour movie of what happened oh my god and then just getting shoved in places yeah. <laughs> everywhere you show up you just get shoved in another smaller room right <laughs> i was thinking in my mind that she was like another like kind of dorky nerdy girl yeah, <laughs> it could have gone two ways, but I was thinking that was what I had in my mind. I think it's always more fun when you're watching kind of nerdy characters and then they find another nerd. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's just because I'm a nerd, yeah. but I'll just find that so much more satisfying when it's like, oh, <laughs> right. nerd found another nerd. Like, we need those tales. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where can people find you if they're looking out? You're a performer and you teach, and I know you're yeah. in Arizona, but like if people want to reach out to you and, and find out more information, what's the easiest way for them to do that? Um, yeah, just on Facebook, you can just find me, Nathaniel Montgomery on Facebook. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the easiest way for me, too. It's like, oh, look, find me on Facebook. There aren't that, there's only one Jay Suko, so find me there. It's the only one. Yeah. <laughs> well it was awesome playing with you as it is all the time my friend and uh yeah we'll we'll talk again soon thanks for your time okay awesome it's fun thank you see you buddy bye